So it's about 6.15 a.m. I just got to the doctor's lounge here at the hospital. We have a really long case today. It's a patient who has a curb in her back, scoliosis, which means she, she's developed arthritis over the last number of years and has back pain and leg pain. This is the doctor's lounge at the hospital that I'm at today. They have some couches here, little TV. Kind of feels like you're at home a little bit with the couches and TV and the entertainment stand, but uh, yeah, should be a good day. We'll check in with you guys soon. All right guys, so today is Friday. It's about 9.30 a.m. Usually on Fridays we have lectures. So there's spine surgeons who teach us different things. This morning we had a lecture from a neurosurgeon who taught us about spinal cord injuries. And that was from 6.30 to 7.15. And then at 7.15 we have like a two hour kind of meeting where there's 10 to 15 surgeons in the room. There's some radiology people that may come. The CEO of the private practice actually showed up and a few other ancillary staff and we get together and we had a M&M, which is the Morbidity and Mortality Conference. Everyone talks about their complications or things that didn't really end up the right way. Uh, for instance, there's a patient who had surgery and after surgery he couldn't move his foot for some reason whether that was a retractor that we used in surgery, whether we distracted the patient's nerve too much, we just don't know. From a learning standpoint, that is really good to know. So when I encounter a similar thing in my training, I can say, oh, my staff at my fellowship had this similar thing happen to him too. So then there are surgeons who talk about their interesting cases cases in their practice that they find interesting and something that's educational. There was a case this morning of a patient who had a open gallbladder surgery by general surgery and a few months later came back with a large infection into their spine and they were having pain. MRI showed a large abscess that possibly it was from the open gallbladder surgery. So, I mean, things like this that you probably <laughs> may not see in practice, but it's really interesting. And we talked about it in lecture today. So we had that to about nine-ish or so. I went to another hospital to get a badge and computer access because we just started at a new hospital this week. And now I'm about to get my hair cut and then I have a lecture to give to some sales reps who are in a school to become sales reps. So in the operating room, before surgery and after surgery, we have interactions with medical sales reps. And the implants that we use in surgery, we actually utilize the sales reps in surgery to tell us the specifics of that implant. We have a general idea of what the implant does and how it works, but when you're putting implants into patients, such as a disc replacement or different screws or cages or various hardware, there is usually a sales rep that's in the OR. There's a medical sales college that's here in Dallas and they wanted a guest speaker, a spine surgeon, to come talk to these students about general spine. So I'm going over some anatomy, some different techniques and the different latest and greatest technology in spine. It's like a 45 minute lecture and then we're going to a concert tomorrow. So uh, yeah, should be a uh, fun next couple days. All right, so I just left from getting a fresh haircut, looking fresh. So now I'm about to head to the medical sales college. The students who are training and learning how to become medical sales reps. I actually have a model here of a spine because I think it's really helpful to actually see something kind of uh, in a three-dimensional manner. And I'll bring this with me and we'll have like a Q&A after, talk about life outside of 
you know, medicine and the physician sales rep interaction, you know, some pointers and tips, answer some questions. So see you there soon. So I just got here to the medical sales college. I've got my spine vertebrae here. I'm about to walk in and give the lecture. All right, so it is Saturday around 10 30, about 11 a.m. I just left the hospital. I'm actually on call this weekend, so that means I round at the hospital and I see patients that are in the hospital. I had to round at two hospitals today, about eight or nine patients or so. Just means I um, looked at their charts, looked at their, their labs, and ordered some medications if they need it. And patients will be in the hospital over the weekend. So a doctor, one of the spine surgeons, has to see all the patients. So that was me this weekend. If I get any calls from the ER or a patient needs to go to surgery, then I, I have to go back and uh, go in, unfortunately. But hopefully it's a quiet weekend. We actually came out to a market here in Frisco, Texas. It's called the Frisco Fresh Market. They have a little carnival right next door. So beautiful Saturday, and uh, we're just gonna hang out, stay close to the hospital, support your local farmers, and uh, just hanging out. beneficial for the local economy to come to markets like this where everything is fresh, all the produce, you get samples of uh, various things. So uh, yeah, we're just here checking it out and run a few errands today, hanging out with the uh, fam today. Just now leaving the Frisco market here. Little Austin, awake and fed. We're about to go hang out for the rest of the day, run some errands, and um, hopefully I don't get any calls to uh, go in the rest of the day today. Potty Fest. Posty. Oh, Posty Fest. <laughs> 2019. <laughs> we out here. <laughs>
today is Sunday morning. It's around 6.45 a.m. Yesterday, the time went back an hour, so I got an extra hour of sleep last night. We were able to go to the concert in Arlington. Then this morning, I just have to round here at the hospital, and that's about it. Prepare for cases for the week, rest of the day, hang out with the family. So, uh, yeah, just got here to the hospital. What's up guys? So we just finished our case. Today was a robotic spine surgery case. It's about 4.30 p.m. We used a robot in surgery today to help us place screws and hardware within the spine with accuracy and precision. It was a great case. I'm glad you guys were able to capture some of it and I hope you guys learned something. But I wanted to thank you guys for following along with me over the last week or so, the last few days, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.